Black Lives Matter now and forever. I have linked a ton of resources down below for places that you can donate and also things that you can post on your social media accounts. You guys should definitely check those things out. This issue can really use all the support that it can get. That being said, let's get into the video. Avatar The Last Airbender. Avatar The Last Airbender is my favorite show literally of all time. Like I've never loved a show more than I've loved Avatar The Last Airbender. I was gonna make this video last week, but you know, more important things came up and I figured that this video could wait. So I waited on this one, but now I'm really, really excited to make it because I love this show with my like entire heart. This week we're gonna be doing an avatar character tier. Let's go ahead and rename this to... Oop. There we go. So go ahead and name this Superior. All right, let's just start at the beginning. Aang, clearly a superior character. Without Aang, everything would be a mess. So like he's clearly gotta be in the top tier. Next we got Appa. Okay, superior. Um, Let's just drop her there. Is that Bato? Bato was like kind of a side character, was he not? Like I wasn't really obsessed with him, but he was a good guy, so I'll give him a B. Cabbage Man's a superior dude. I read online that apparently Cabbage Man was not supposed to be an ongoing joke, but the audience loved him so much that they kept bringing him back, which I think is hilarious. So next we got Sparky Sparky. Boom man. Dude, this guy was kind of annoying, not gonna lie. But I'll give him a C because he was actually kind of cool. Like, like he was pretty strong. <laughs> oh my god, the sand guy, dude. I hated him. Muzzled Appa. Gyatso? Gyatso was chill. I don't think I saw enough of him though, so I'm gonna give him a B. Hakoda. Also a B. Okay, this woman was kind of crazy, but um her powers were pretty cool, not gonna lie. I wish Katara used bloodbending more, to be honest. That's pretty that's a pretty strong tool. I mean, if I had that ability. I think I would use it. Haru didn't see enough of him either, so for that reason, I'll give him a B. Oh my god, Iroh is superior, dude. Literally the best character in the show. I love Iroh. I think Iroh is one of the best written characters in Avatar, for sure. Jong Jong, he was cool too. I'll give him an A. Jet became good in the end, you know? I'll give him an A. You know, he tried his best. Dude, this girl should have gotten way more attention than she did. I'm gonna give her an A. Zuko should have ended up with her, like I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really like Mei that much. I just thought she was kind of bland and like Zuko is really filled with like emotion and character and Mei is just like the complete opposite, which I guess, you know, sometimes works, but she was so deprived of emotion that it was like kind of a turn off for me. <laughs> oh, this girl was awful. I'm giving her a bottom tier, but I guess it wasn't her fault, you know? It's fine, I'm leaving her there. June, right? Is that her name? She was cool. I'm gonna give her a B. She was kind of annoying in the beginning, but again, she turned herself around. Dude, Katara was superior. I know a lot of you guys hate Katara, but that's my girl. Like, without her, this show would have been a mess, let's be honest. Boomy. I didn't really like Boomy that much. I'm gonna give him a C. I understand he was like pretty powerful and stuff, but he was just too much for me. Oh, this was the stupid king. Yeah, he was not that great. Uh, I'm gonna give Kiyoshi a B. Yeah, this guy gets a C. Oh, dude, Jet's whole team was actually pretty nice too. May gets a C. I didn't really like her that much. Oh, this guy was cool. He gets an A for building all that cool stuff. Oh, was I the only one that did not like Momo that much? Natasha, he is an animal. Why are you so mad? I just thought he was kind of annoying, so he's gonna get a B. Is that Ozai? Bottom tier. Master Paku. I'll give him a B. Oh, is he the, um, the Fire Nation guy? His name is Piondo. I guess it was. I don't know why. I know who he is. I just couldn't remember his name for some reason. His name is Piondo. I'm gonna give him an A because he didn't kill Sokka, so. All right, this is another one of Jet's teammates. I'll give him a B as well. Avatar Roku gets an A. He was like the most helpful avatar. Smiller B also gets a B. Sokka. I'm gonna give Sokka an A. Everyone's gonna hate on me for this. Sokka was kind of irritating to me, but he could be funny sometimes. Maybe it's just because this show has a lot of like kid humor. I just didn't find Sokka as funny as a lot of people think he is. I don't know. His jokes kind of... <laughs> <laughs> irritated me sometimes. All right, next we got Sozin. Um, I'm gonna give Sozin bottom tier because he's trying to kill everyone. He's literally the one that started like all of the trouble, so we're not gonna mess with that, all right? Yusuke was cool. I'm gonna put her with Sokka. He's the son of the inventor guy. He was also pretty cool. I'll give him an A. You know what? I actually kind of like this guy, and he did help fight the Fire Nation, so I'll give him a B. More of Jet's pals. Be. Toph is superior. Toph is like one of the best characters ever. She is like the strongest character I feel like in the entire show. Toph was OP from the beginning. And I don't know, I like her blind jokes throughout the show as well. She's really funny. All right, Ty Lee. This girl was annoying, dude. I'm gonna give her a C. That's Zuko's mom, right? I'll give her a B. Dude, I hated this owl. That's gonna go in bottom tier. All right, he's getting a B. Princess Yue. I'm gonna give her a B. I didn't love her that much. I'm gonna give her a C. Zhao, right? He was awful. The love of my life, Zuko, gets superior. I love that they put him last because they already know that he's gonna get superior. Zuko is the best written character in the entire show, like hands down. Like everyone will agree with you on that and it's not just because he's very attractive. <laughs> he's just a very, very likable character and it's so hard to see that in the beginning, especially if you were watching it for the first time. He's just broken and like he's trying to figure everything out but he was written so, so well. I love Zuko. I love Zuko so much and he is probably my favorite character after Iroh. <laughs> 
Anyway guys, I hope you liked my avatar character tier. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. That helps out a lot. Subscribe because I upload videos every Saturday and you do not want to miss out. But other than that, I'm going to go. So I will see you guys next week with another video. So until then, bye.